So I've got a little bit of bad news for those of you who have forked out $3,000 for the Titan V. Well, the big news is that the Titan V is actually having severe issues. So the Titan V is just called the Titan V, and the V stands for Volta because the Titan V utilizes NVIDIA's Volta architecture. Now, these cards really aren't designed for gaming. They're mostly designed for scientific research. So the thing that the Titan V has that a lot of other NVIDIA cards don't is HBM2 memory. Now, HBM2 memory is just DDR modules stacked on top of each other, and they're literally stacked right next to the GPU, meaning that they can stack a ton of memory into a small space. Now, other cards that utilize HBM2 memory is actually the AMD Vega cards. Both AMD 56 and Vega 60 have HBM2 memory. So why would I bring up HBM2 memory and what's going on with it? Well, what's going on is that the HBM2 memory is actually causing severe calculation issues. So in scientific studies, what's going on with these graphics cards is that scientists are using them to try and calculate things like protein folding simulations and other different types of algebraic equations. And what ends up happening is that these cards are actually providing severe mathematical miscalculations and that's really not too good, especially for a $3,000 graphics card. So for example, let's say that you're trying to discover a cure for cancer and you're using one of these cards and something ends up messing up and you end up getting the wrong result. You can end up costing the scientists thousands or even millions of dollars in research because they're trying to figure out what went wrong. And a lot of the time, scientists doing important work don't have time for this kind of stuff. And the thing that worries me the most is that if Volta ends up powering the new generation of NVIDIA cards, even though people are saying Ampere and Turing are supposed to power them, but let's say in a theoretical world, if Volta ends up powering these cards, that's really kind of concerning because that means it could provide severe frame rate issues and severe performance issues, especially for people who are into like 3D animating and not specifically gaming. And to be honest, it's kind of worrying, especially since this graphics card is $3,000 and it's so powerful and it's providing such skewed results. So thank you all so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click here for more videos. And if you want to stay up to date on all the latest tech news, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.